If you want to save money at home on electricity and fuel, the most effective thing you can do is to insulate the ceiling in your home. In order to always have the desired temperature with less expense in air conditioning or heating. To insulate the ceiling, it is convenient to use extruded polystyrene sheets instead of thermal insulators that set at the installation site, since while drying, they release extremely toxic and even carcinogenic vapors. The extruded polystyrene square sheets can be half an inch thick and one meter per side. In order to mount the insulation, called false ceiling, you can use special structures or even metal profiles easily obtained with any supplier of materials for steel windows. An angular type material is required for fastening our false ceiling to the walls. I personally used a metal profile used extensively in sliding steel windows, which looks like this one. After fastening the angular metal profile to opposite walls and some 15 centimeters from the room's ceiling, you need to place a 1 and 3 quarters inch by 3 quarters inch metal profile sections of a suitable length. We will call them cross beams. Next, wooden molding strips are fastened with screws to each cross beam to hold the extruded polystyrene frames as shown. Naturally, the distance between the profiles should be enough for the polystyrene sheets to rest loosely on the molding and fitting neatly in place. Once the piece is in place, a short wooden molding with small pieces of crossbeam material is used to cover the joints between polystyrene sheets and to provide additional support so the frames will not sag. Keep working until you reach the end of the room where smaller polystyrene pieces are used to suit the available space. That completes the fall ceiling. The simplest part is to insulate the window glasses by using polybubble material of the type used for packing delicate objects. Apply a thin film of water to the glass and stick the polybubble material with the flat side against the glass on the inner side of the glass. The metallic part of the windows can be covered with coroplast, a kind of corrugated cardboard made with plastic material. To insulate the door frames, a special adhesive tape is required. The gap on the bottom of the door can be sealed with rubber foam, usually intended for pipe insulation. Open it at the cut and slide it under the door and attach it to the outside of the door with a molding nailed or bolted to the door. Silicon can be used as an adhesive on the inside of the door. In a further video we will show you how to insulate the walls. I hope this video has been useful for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.